Hey there, Sankash here and in this video, we're going to be learning how do you quickly use follow me on multiple components. Okay, now while using follow me, you know, if you have to use follow me on multiple components, it takes a lot of time. Like if you want to make railings or if you want to make a divider or anything that follows a particular path and you have multiple surfaces for that. Okay, and you want to follow those multiple surfaces through one single path it might take a lot of time for example if you just see this surface in front of you okay so i just selected this path i have this curved path which goes like this and i use follow me over here i click on this surface and i get a followed path okay so i get it once then if i want to follow other surfaces i'll have to keep on repeating this process okay like i'll have to again select this path and keep on following this and you know it takes a lot of time and a lot of times you don't have so much of time to put in so during these cases when you have one single path and when you have multiple surfaces that you want to follow through that path the best thing that you can do is okay the, the free alternative that you can do is just make a surface which covers all the surfaces that you have that you want to follow okay so how do you make that surface is like this so you can use the arrow keys to just lock your grid okay just to lock uh, your rectangle i'm just using a rectangle tool over here then just click on control okay now when you click on control you get uh, the this rectangle in this way okay like you can make a rectangle from the center all right now once you do this just make a surface like this all right and just this time just select this path over here then you can go on to follow me and now make sure that you don't you just follow this surface okay just follow the outer surface and you need to have all the other surfaces in that outer surface all right now once you follow this outer surface you get the surface followed okay and now comes the magic part now what you have to do is just delete all of these outer surfaces okay so i'm just selecting i'm just doing a double click so that i select the surface and the edges okay and make sure you don't delete these edges all right so let's just do this again I just select all of these outer surfaces and delete them okay and you can see we have done a follow me in just one click by just making one simple tweak to our model all right so this is how you can use follow me on multiple surfaces by just doing one single click and save a lot of time while modeling okay so if you like this video just hit the like button make sure you subscribe to my channel to not miss any other future informative videos from me and let's meet in the next video until then bye bye and take care